Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Mike, and today I just want to show you guys how to create that cool animation graphic that I had in my last video with the CMYK Arts um, outro kind of thing and this cool effect that was uh, happening at the end of my last video. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, the first thing you're going to need is Photoshop. So, I'm using Adobe Photoshop, and another thing you're going to want to use is Particle Illusion 3.0. That's the uh, where I get my effects and all these cool um, animation effects that was going on in my last video. Um, and that should be it. That's all you really need. And um, lastly, you'll probably need a video editing program. Let's say um, Windows Movie Maker for beginners. You know, not even for beginners. Just you know, like a free program like that. Or um, let's say um, Debut Studio. No, not Debut Studio. What's this called? Um, Corel um, Video Studio Pro. 4x which is what I have um, you know so or Camtasia Studio any anything that uh, requires um, video editing that you can output your video or a combination of everything alright so first off I'm gonna go into Photoshop and I kinda went ahead and created a quick graphic so I don't have to make this video too long now I put I love or I heart my YouTube subscribers and um, as you can see I got this Mac OS um, uh, what do you call this like a a dock or something and so I have the dock right there holding the um the my YouTube kinda got this cool type of graphic design going on there with the the my and the YouTube connecting um also with the subscribers they kinda got this um um cool gradient effect kinda thing going on there sitting on top of the uh the dock right there with a black background and I gave everything a cool layer style and everything like that so after I created my cool graphic I went ahead and saved it as a PNG file and the file I was using this is about a 1000 by 700 document right here um, so you know pixels by pixels alright so then I, then I went ahead and went into particle illusion um, and went ahead again and added some quick graphics or some quick animation effects so I don't make it too long so all I have to do is kinda maybe add something up here and that'll be it so this is the program it's it's um it's pretty cool it has its uh um to me it has its flaws but in a way it does have its con like it's it, you know like its cons and its pros and things like that pros and cons um so it's a little bit like photoshop on the left hand side you got your layers so as you can see i have my own background layer which is the actual image file that i've created in photoshop and these two layers right here is actually um I want to say uh, like the animation effects and the animation effects is right here on the right hand side so as you can see they into f uh, they're in grouped layers so as you can see right here I'm just gonna select something in this little preview panel this is the uh, the effect that I would I would choose or something like that so they have many different effects here so as you can see I'm just gonna go around and create like these cool effects or whatever like that and then you can add it over here into your graphic like that. Of course you will want to make it onto its own layer because if you activate it on its uh, image layer or something like that it's going to be kind of hard to manage each individual effect although you still can doing it with the, the select tool and go ahead and um, moving the animations around. So I already have these two graphics up here so I'm going to go right click and select a new layer and you can go ahead and name the layer whatever you um, want to name it and I'm just going to press OK um, so that's going to be layer 3 so I know which layer that is and I kind of want to animate something up here I'm not sure what I want to do so like I said you have a bunch of animations up here and you go ahead you can go ahead and um, uh, what am I saying you can uh, edit some of these graphics up here by giving them different um, particle effects and things like that so um, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with the heart or something like that um, this red comet looks cool but it's just like a red comet so I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to use with that um, we got this flickering effect I can kind of use that in a way in fact I might just do that I might just put it uh, let's say right here on the top of the star I mean of the heart and what's cool about this is that you can actually show the particles if you want to so if you want to see the particles in action you can um, right now I set it on um, my right here at the bottom is like a graph as you can say you could kind of say this is like a um, a time a time frame or something like that where each um, I set the time frames 
to um, 400 so I can animate between those frames like that so there's 400 frames and um, you can animate within those frames and you can extend it more if you want if you want to extend your animation so right now it's just added this flickering flare to the heart and I place it on top as if it was shining like that and I put it on frame one because if I leave it on frame one what the, f the flickering flare would do would keep animating through the whole entire um, cycle so I'm gonna go ahead and press play okay I got this thing shining right there okay so as you see the heart is flaring and if you watch at the very bottom the animation I added to my subscribers watch what happens so this emitting light that's passing by the subscribers gets bigger and bigger until it finally explodes and that's consisting of two different type of animations I put in one is called the explosion obviously oh no it's called streaky burst and the other one is called let's see the other one is called um, simple sparkles which is the sparkles that's going past the subscribers and as you can see the um the flashing heart up there is still shining and um, yeah so I'm gonna leave it like that and the subscriber thing at the bottom is going like that so if you want to see the full animation of this um, actual um, clip that I'm making just you know continue watching this video and at the end of the video I'm gonna go transition into this video it's gonna be like a 10 second long animation or something like that and um, just let me know what you think it's, uh, um, it's definitely a little bit getting used to so to break it down I created my graphic in Photoshop I went to Particle Illusion Studio I mean not studio Particle Illusion is called 3.0 and I placed my graphic in there so I just right clicked and selected a background image and then you go ahead and select your background image and then I created three different layers with three different graphics and then I went ahead and chose where on the graph I want to um, place these images and selected how big and how tall um, what the explosions will look like and all sorts of stuff but then again I am gonna do another whole video tutorial on particle illusions and many other software reviews that I'll be putting on my website so please check on my website at cmykarts.com and like I said, please check out this video clip that's going to end um, after this uh, tutorial. Um, I'm going to play this video clip and you guys can leave in a comment below and let me know what you think. So this is me, Mike. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick, uh, I would say informative. It's not too informative after I cannot show you how to truly go through, go about to do particle illusions. But um, yeah, that'll be in the next videos, on the upcoming videos. Really. Alright, so it's me, Mike. Enjoy. Peace.